place to say. You've just dropped him off at school. That's a bit early, isn't it? What's wrong? Is he driving you mad already? He's at breakfast club. They're teaching him how to make scrambled eggs. Oh, come on. You're not still sulking about not seeing him, are you? Well, can you blame him? Oh, keep out of it, you. He's got nothing to do with you. We had an arrangement, Leanne. He was really looking forward to spending time with yeah, you. Yeah, I know. And as I said, I'm just trying to get him into a new routine. Yeah, I know. You've already said all that. Anyway, I'll be able to say my piece when we go to court. Fair enough. Yeah, and then we'll know where we all stand, won't we? Yeah, Miss Lister said once we get everything in writing, then there'll be no room for misunderstandings, will there? Oh, well, that's something to look forward to, innit, eh? Everything down in black and white, you know. Leanne's his mum, and I've failed as a father. It's official. Good all right. This has got to stop. I know, I know. You did a good thing, Peter, for your son. You made him happy. Give yourself a little credit, will you? Hey. Morning. Hiya. You all right, Henry? Not easy, is it? No. I think I'd be used to it by now, wouldn't you? But sometimes... No, you feel. When you've loved someone, it can be hard to let go. Yeah. See ya. You're quietly, you're right. Yeah, yeah, fine. Morning, love. Big day for you. How do you mean? Well, you know what they say. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Have you been sniffing the dry cleaning again? <laughs> you said you were going to get help, gambling. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, I'm going to get onto it today. Bring a few people, that sort of stuff, for you. Do you know what? It's really nice having this place to ourselves again. I'm getting sick of the sight of Sunita's miserable face. You're not really taken to her, have you? I don't think this whole engagement thing's a bit weird. Well, it could be the making of it. In one minute, she can't stand to be in the same house as him, and the next minute, it's like, oh, we're getting married. Well, maybe she missed him. Hapton's makes the eye grow fonder. Mm, out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> Proper rare sunshine, aren't you, today? Oh, you lot, you're chunting. You never stop. Well, if you want some quiet, go and lock yourself in the lab. <laughs> you know, I think I will. Woman free zone. Bliss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you seem happy as Larry. You must think you can nail this gambling problem. Yeah, I am. He's at rock bottom, so the only way is up now. At least. What's that shirt ever done to you? What is it, love? Peter Flaming Barlow. Oh, what's he done now? He was snogging Carla's face off in the street. They were all over each other. Honestly, you'd think they'd be a bit more discreet, wouldn't you? You should have seen the way he looked at her. You still look at me like that. Oh, I know it must be hard for you, love. Seeing them draped all over each other like that. You know, he's the one who's behaved badly, but yet he's the one who's happy. It makes me sick, the thought of him cozying up to her every night while I've got no one. And anyway, why should a cow like her have everything? Look, you're young, you're lovely. You won't have any trouble finding someone else. Don't get me wrong. I'm over the moon I've got Simon. I really am. It's just... I wish he had a proper family. A mum and a dad. I can't believe it. Just tell me. Why didn't you just tell me? So who's this mystery woman, then? She said I don't know her. Some slapper he's met at the bistro. Well, if he's traded you in this quickly, then you're better off without him. He knew I wanted to get back with him. He knew that. When he see something, instead of just letting me sit there building my hopes up. And if he can't see how fabulous you are, then he doesn't deserve you. My mum, you've got to say that. Well, because it's true. So now, I've no man and I've no job. Wait, well, you've worked out? I told him to stick it. Can't work with him now, can I? Not now. <laughs> What am I going to do, Mum? I really love him. He treated you like muck. Look, I know it's really hard, but you've just got to try and forget him. Move on. Fat chance that's not going to be easy, is it? Well, no, it's not, but you've got Mum and me, and we'll fight your corner. We'll help you through it, won't we? Yeah. Thanks, Leanne. It means the world. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Leanne. You're a star. Listen, I've got to go and get signed now, but... Don't cry. He's not worth it, you know. I know. Are you brave showing your face in here? Yeah, listen, Leanne. I didn't come to see Eva. It's you I came to see. 
Me? Why? Well, there's no easy way of saying this, so I better jump right in. I love you, Leanne. Just finish with my sister one minute and then barge in here and say that. I'll never stop loving you. Oh, Nick, don't talk rubbish. I just want to make you happy. I love you so much, Leanne. No. Please, this ain't happening. And how could you do this to me? Eva, please listen. My own sister, how could you do this no, to me? you've got it wrong. I love you so much, Leanne. What the hell was that about? I know it looks bad. Look, this is my fault. <gasps> You carrying on behind my back? No. I mean, how low can you no, get? No, we have not done anything. Oh, is this just a meeting of minds, yeah? Come on, then. Oh. Give me the juicy details, eh? There's nothing going on, no, I swear what? to you. You told me to keep away from it. Oh, for God. Now we know why, you two-faced cow. Oh, oh what the hell's going on now? I feel sick. When I think about how you've played me, Acting all kind and caring. My lovely, loyal, supportive sister. Oh, for God's sake, will you just shut up and listen? Don't you tell me what you're I said doing. shut it! There is nothing going on between us. I didn't even know he had feelings for me until before. Yeah, right. Why did you lead me on while you were seeing her? It wasn't like that. If we're going to get to the bottom of this, we need to discuss it calmly. This is none of your business. I beg to differ. These are my two daughters. Of course it's my business. Well, there's nothing else to say. I'm in love with Leanne. The truth is, I've always loved her. What was that like? Just a distraction while you were waiting for a marriage to break down? I lied to you. You loved her. Typical me. Always get the consolation prize. Leanne was the love of my life. And I had to tell her. I'm sorry my timing was off. Oh! Nick, I think you should just go. You're I just making it worse. Can you just go now, please? Hey, sit down. And you. We are not going anywhere until we sort this mess out. Do you hear me? But I've never been one for rules, but there are certain things that you don't do. You do not, I repeat, not sleep with your sister's fella. Are you out of hearing? I've already told you what happened. Even if there was nothing going on, you must have known that he was in love with you. No, I didn't. Walk around with your eyes shut, dear. Uh, excuse me, I've been a bit busy fighting for my son. Never stood a chance, did I? Oh, not with you hanging around, batting your eyelashes. Look, I am sorry he doesn't love you. I really am, but none of this is my fault. Oh, Saint Leanne. So sweet and so innocent. Oh, I know why you're so angry. Because you know you've done this to yourself, don't you? I never did. Don't you dare say that. Yeah, you have. You've behaved like a childish little schoolgirl. That's enough. Well, it's true. All that nonsense with Jason trying to make Nick jealous. I mean, how childish can you get? You nasty piece of work. No wonder you were so desperate to get away from you. That is not fair, Leanne, and you know well, that. Well, I am sorry, but I am fed up with being blamed for everything round here. You were paranoid and possessive. No wonder you drove him away. You are utterly vile. Yeah? And you're a mess. No wonder you can't keep a man. Donaldson wants us all to sing in the choir. Oh, that'd be nice. Uh, no. She wrote about singing plip, 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 little April showers. I told her, I said, I'm eight years old, not four. Well, that's told her, eh? I like having a chip of tea outside. Good. Are we keeping a low profile because of all the shouting before? Hey, listen, that's nothing for you to worry about, OK? Hey, Si, how are you? Not so bad. Sorry about today. So you should be. Hey, Si, yeah? Here's a pound. Why don't you go to the cabin and get yourself a comic, eh? Must be great having him back. Yeah. Yeah, I've really missed him. Giving me a new lease of life. He's a smart kid. Hmm. Too smart for his own good sometimes. How's Eva? Well, I think it's safe to say she's well and truly over you. <laughs> it's not all bad, then. It's a joke. Look, I... <laughs> Do you want to sit down? I think I've knackered my hamstrings. Oh, if you don't. Oh, crumb. You haven't got a banana in your bag, have you? You are. 
magnesium, good for the muscles, or you could give me a little massage. <laughs> yeah, you get off. <laughs> oh, worth a try. Today's performance couldn't get any worse. I meant what I said, you know. Oh, come on, Nick, please don't do this. I've loved you since I was 16. Yeah, but it's not just about me anymore, is it? I've got Simon to think about. And now you come as a package. All right. So you'd be willing to take us both on, would you? Yes. See me down to the ground. I've always wanted to be a dad. I know I wouldn't be his real dad. But it'd be a joy to be with you. I'd love you. I'd look after you. Could be a proper family. Oh, thanks. People are always doing that on my head. <laughs> yeah, well, at least you shouldn't have curly hair. It's hard to resist. Now, ice cream. Yeah. Uh, yeah, please. Yes, please. Pretty please. Oh, man. How many flavours have you got? Seven or eight. A bit of each tar. Go easy on the vanilla, though. It's a bit boring. Uh, yeah, nice try, buddy. <laughs> How about chocolate and strawberry? Do you see some squirt cream on it and all? Oh. Quite the bon vivant. Is that French? It means someone who likes the finer things in life. That's me, all right. Me too. Look, do you want to come through the kitchen and help yourself? Oh, go on, then. Don't let him boss you about, though. I won't. I was talking to Nick. <laughs> Eva's not answering her phone. Carl says she's just gone out. Bit of fresh air, give a chance to think things through, calm down a bit. I don't know about that. I'm not so sure you're as innocent as you say you are. Oh, come on, don't start all this again. Seems to me Nick's been sniffing around for quite a while, yet you say he didn't notice. Uh, excuse me, he has not been sniffing around, as you so delightfully put it. So, what he went to see in the hospital last week? He came to see if Simon was OK, obviously. Obviously. What did he say? <sighs> well, we're just mates, all right? Mates with benefits? Well, would it be so terrible if we got together? I mean, why shouldn't we? We're both single. Because it's rubbing Eva's nose, in it. Don't ask me to give you my blessing, Leanne. Not when your sister's in bits. It's too much to ask. <sighs> I've known him for such a long time. He was my first love. I've got a lot of history. Most of it pretty disastrous from what I've heard. Yeah, well, I've done a lot of growing up over the last few years. These days are much more realistic. Meaning what? Meaning? I think me and Nick could make a good team. Fuck <laughs> you. Last of the great romantics. So what you're saying is you're going to settle for him? No. No, I'm not saying that at all. He's nice looking, hard working, decent family man. You can't have Peter, so you're settling for second best. Well, life's not all hearts and flowers, is it? <laughs> Leanne, I hate hearing you sound so cynical. If I've got the chance of happiness, I owe it to myself and to Simon to grab it with both hands. Oh, and what about Peter? He hates Nick. What's he gonna say? That's not my problem, is it? Oh, I see. That makes Nick more appealing, then, does it? Chance to get a bit of revenge? <sighs> I hadn't even thought of that. Now he's being cynical. It'll all end in tears. No, it won't. Why shouldn't I have a man who loves me and treats me right, eh? Why the hell shouldn't I? Look at your text. Is everything all right? Did you mean what you said? That you love me and you want to make me happy? And that you'd be prepared to take Simon on and treat him as your own? I meant every word. Because, listen... We're the grown-ups now. We couldn't keep splitting up and then getting back together again. We wouldn't let that happen. Simon's had so much pain and disruption in his life. He needs to feel loved. He needs stability. Trust me, Leanne. I'm ready to make a commitment to you, to both of you. I want us to be together, Nick. <laughs> what about Eva? Oh, what about your family? What about them? I'm going to put myself first and Simon. I want you. I want us to be together. I love you. 